so let's go back to that word coherence for a second so I have a destination and as long as I quantum connect with that destination that's coherence I have that in my mind and I could get distracted I need something at Office Depot so I'll go over there and then I need something over here and I might not ever get home if I keep but even in the back of my mind, I know even if I stop here, I still am quantum connected to that destination going back to the house, back to the crib. And so the coherence, co is together, here is the here and now, right? So coherence, it's it's happening now, the here and now, but there just has to be a, a cycle birthing until I get there, until it appears in the hologram. Unless something distracts me. And so this, so we're just talking about going home or going to work or going to the store. But let's take it a little bit, let's take it one step further because it all, all it's a fractal hologram. The way stuff works in the in the micro, it also works in the macro. The micro, the macro, the fractal, the hologram, the types and shadows, the copy machine. So I'm quantum connected with a destination to go home. Now what how what about another destination what about a investing or building something or a hobby or learning a new trade or let's say you want to get a degree in engineering so your destination even though it's not a place it's a thing but it still works the same so you want to get a, a degree in engineering so you quantum connect with it in your thought that's my destination now you can get distracted get off course get distracted or whatever I ended up getting so I went for electrical engineer and I ended up getting a math degree because I got distracted I got a math degree but that's all right I would not I would not have enjoyed it anyway because I like working with my hands I like moving around I can't stand to be in a cube you know I could use my experience maybe to be a sales I don't even like sales you know I just I just enjoy what I do but the coherence is the here and now together it's already happened but if you get distracted that's a different story and so once you once you have in in your mind a resolute decision you resolved it in your mind you settled it in your mind you've turned it over and turned it over and turned it over and you said that's what I want to do whatever it is then it's happened it just has to appear there might be some steps to go through but because you resolved it resolved revolve volver in Spanish to turn So resolute solution, so solute, resolute solution, right? You put salt in a in water and it starts to mix, you know. You create a solution. So when you take a destination, whether it's a travel destination whether it's a goal whether it's a something even to be whole let's say you have a resolution to give up a bad habit or to to break an addiction or something so you have resolved in your mind that you're going to break that addiction no matter what and you're going to fast you're going to pray you're going to 
you've resolved it in your mind. You've turned it over and you realize it's destroying you and uh, hell or high water, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it, no matter what. By faith, with God's help. Now you wanna do it in a, in a process it's already happened in your mind, but you have to go through the process. And part of the process, so think of it this way. So a husband and wife conceive a child, but it's still in the womb. It's, it's just conception. So there's a nine-month process, right? It's the, the child is there. The seed has been planted, just like a farmer plants a seed. So you all you have to do is go through the process through the steps, through the cycles. It's the growth process. So when you make a decision to, and you're resolute about something, this is what I want to be. But there's going to be growth. In order to change your state from this state to that state, from this position to that position, there has to be travail, travel. This is what I'm doing here, traveling. So there has to be travail or travel. There has to be a birthing a growth and the word growth g is golgotha it is finished so it's already finished it's already finished in the in the ethereal plane th is the ether th is the ethereal plane the spirit plane g says num g is number seven it is finished so what so what is the middle part row 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 your boat gently down the stream so you've already resoluted in your mind resolved in your mind you've already resolved in your mind that that's the destination g it is finished in the spirit you've made the in your mind which your mind is spirit be renewed in the spirit of your mind so there's the destination there's the resolve it's finished it's already done so what am I doing now? I'm row, row, row your boat. You're rowing your boat. RO goes back to water. Your water vessel, just Google RO and you'll see some water tanks. Body double, there's double you. So, the, so you have to grow from this state to that state. So I was at that stoplight back there. And so as I'm, as I'm rowing, as I'm turning, see how the wheels are turning? The mind is turning, it's all it's all connected. And so as the wheels are turning, your thoughts are turning, and you're growing. You're resolute in your mind. You have resolved in your mind. You have decided that's where you want to go. But there has to be a growth process step by step by step. Just like the baby in the womb. Just like when the farmer plants the seed. He plants a watermelon seed and he gets seed back. Multiply, multiply. The seed was is within the seed, but not only that, he gets some fruit for his labor. He gets more seed to plant, but he also gets fruit. Both of those cars, that big van and that car was across the line it's like every time I go through that intersection people can't stay in their lane bizarro land um, so the resolution that you've made in your mind you've resolved in your mind you've turned it over volver volute to turn vulva is a turn so the baby is birthed out of the, the, the area of the vulva. So the, you turn stuff over and it bursts out. You just keep hitting it and eventually it bursts. It has to, because if you hit something long enough, I'll give you an example. So if I go over this tree right here, and I take an ax and I just keep hitting it. Eventually the tree's got to fall, eventually. Oh, it's good. And when I first start, it's gonna be rough, just like digging a, a post holes for a fence. When you first start to dig that surface area, maybe this much rock, you gotta dig through some rock, you know, the, the hard surface area. Then when you get down to this far, it starts to get easier. Then you get down and it gets easier and easier, unless you hit more rock.
and during the process that you've made your decision, what happens is here's what happens. It blows your mind. God starts to, to give the increase and make a way that you didn't even know. God gives you a way that you didn't even think of. You just step out on faith, and for some reason, the however it happens, the door just opens. It's like a miracle. Seriously. 